Into that ominous tract which all agree 
about it. I fancied Cuthbert's reddening face. Makes the thing and then mars it until 
his mood changes and off he goes with a road, bog, clay and rubble, sand and stark black dirt. Now blotches rankling, colour gay and grim, now patches where some leanness of the soils broke into moss or substances like thus. Then came some palsied oak, a cleft in him, like a distorted mouth that splits its rim, gaping at death and dies while it recoils. And just as far as ever from the end, naught in the distance but the evening, naught to point my footstep further, at the thought a great Apollon's bosom friend sailed past, nor beat his wide wing dragon bend that brushed my cap, perchance the guide I sought. For, looking up, aware of somehow grew, spite of the dusk, the plain had given place all round to mountains with such name to grace, mere ugly heights and heaps now stolen in view, how thus they surprised me, solve it, you, how to get from them was no clearer case, yet up I seemed to recognize some trick of mischief happened to me, God knows when, in a bad perhaps, here and did then progress this way, when, in the very nick of giving up, one time more came a click, and when a trap shuts, you're inside the den. Burningly it came on me all at once. This was the place, those two hills on the right, couched like two bulls locked horn in horn in fight, while to the left a tall scalped mountain, Dunce, Doddard, a dozing at the very nonce. After a life spent training for the sight, what in the midst lay but the tower itself, the round squat turret, blind as the fool's heart, built of brown stone, without a corner part, in the whole world, the tempest smoking. Points to the shipman thus the unseen shelf. He strikes on only when the timbers start. Not see, because of night perhaps. Why day? Come back again for that before it left. The dying sunset kindled through a cleft. The hills like giants at a hunting lay chin upon hand to see the game at bay, now stab thee and end the creature to the heft. Not here, when noise was everywhere, it told, increasing like a bell, names in my ears, of all the lost adventures, my peers, how such a one was strong, and such was bold, and such was fortunate, yet each of old, lost, lost, one moment knelt the woe of years. There they stood, ranged along the hillsides, met to view the last of me, a living frame for one more picture in a sheet of flame. I saw them, and I knew them all, and yet, Dauntless, the slug horn to my lips, I set and blew. Child Roland to the dark tower came. So, that was a very interesting poem, and one that I'm sure warrants a good deal of investigation and in depth analysis. So, I really hope that you have enjoyed this video. Thank you.